heard rumblings of this. For some reason, I didn't believe them because it seemed kind of odd to me. But then the news came out this morning, Tiffany Smiley's running for Congress. So Tiffany Smiley, of course, the Republican who ran for Senate uh, the last cycle against Patty Murray and lost. And I will say lost by more than we thought she would based on polling. But she came out today and announced, which is the first day of the filing um, filing period for candidates, which I'll talk more about in a moment, that she is running for Congress in the 4th District. She said, my journey to politics started at Walter Reed Army Hospital almost 20 years ago when I pushed back against government dysfunction and won. Now it's time for me to push back from inside Congress and win for my friends and neighbors in Washington's 4th. Join me as we take the fight to Congress. Now, what's interesting is Washington 4th, Washington's 4th already has a Republican incumbent. It's Dan Newhouse, Congressman Dan Newhouse, who has been there for some time, but has drawn the ire of a faction of the right who's mad that he voted to impeach former President Donald Trump. And there's a segment of the Republican Party in the state that has not forgiven him and has no plans to forgive him for that. But what's also interesting on top of that is he already has an opponent on the more pro-Trump side, Jared Sessler. And Jared Sessler is the one who got the endorsement at the Washington State Republican Party convention. So you already have this sort of more mainstream Republican incumbent. You have a Trump challenger who got the endorsement of, of the party at the convention. And then here you have Tiffany Smiley really out of nowhere. Again, she announces her candidacy on the same day that the filing period opens, because that's happening all week, for candidates for office. So late into the game in terms of congressional uh, campaign standards, but also, again, just very odd. I'm not saying she doesn't have the right to run or that she might, I mean, she could win. She has great, great name recognition. She already has this infrastructure of donors uh, that she's going to be able to tap into. Um, now, I, I kind of, there's things I like about it and that I, I'm kind of, I have questions about, I guess. The thing I like about it is I think anybody should be able to run. I don't think, one of the party the party loyalty issue always bothers me where it's like well i can't run because th there's already a, a republican in the seat or a democrat in the seat because i really see that as robbing voters of the opportunity to choose who might be best for the position so i don't care if a republican runs against a republican what do i care that doesn't matter to me so good for her for not caring either but i'm kind of curious what she thinks she's gonna carve out because the pro-Trump people, you know, there have been raw, raw Jared Sessler, who just got the endorsement. And then people who still support Dan Newhouse, those are diehard Dan Newhouse supporters because they've supported him through, you know, his impeachment vote, through all the vitriol and hate and anger that he got for that. And are they really going to turn around and abandon him now? So it's just fascinating. So, you know, we've talked about Republican divisions. This is like a, is there a, is there a word when you divide it by three? Trivision? No, by vision. Why? I don't know. By vision. Wow, that sounds uh, like bisexual yeah, no, I don't vision. Know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting. I I don't know. And, and maybe she's counting on there being a little bit of a rift there, and people who are tired of it and just saying, okay, well, let's just go with Tiffany Smiley. We won't go with Newhouse. We won't go with you know Jared Sessler and the Trump side of it. And Tiffany's like our way out of this disaster that's happened here. Republicans are really just uh, in disarray right now. Can, can I say that? Absolutely in disarray. Um, but. News like this is going to be, you're seeing, going to see little nuggets drop about people filing for the, filing their declarations for their candidacy officially or not filing. There might be some people who've decided, hey, my campaign isn't going anywhere and so I'm not going to do it. So today, May 6th, is the first day that candidates can file their declaration of candidacy to be on the ballot for November. May 10th is the last day. So it's a very short period of time. And then there is an opportunity May 13th, if for some reason they file this week and then they decide... Eh, never mind. They can unfile by May 13th, and then their name won't appear on the ballot in the uh, August primary, which is interesting. Who's going to be the person that's like, oh, it's May 10th, filing for public office, and then May 13th, they're like, never mind. <laughs>